Hey guys, today we're gonna to take a look at snow mode in the Onyx Backcountry app. We looked at trail mode earlier this year, but today we're gonna to focus on the features specifically for skiers and snowshoers. Let's take a look and I'll walk you through how to use the app. Now, if you've used Onyx Hunt or Onyx Off-Road before, you're gonna be pretty familiar with how everything looks. Basically, when you open up the app, you're gonna be looking at your local area. The first thing you wanna do is click the button in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and choose Snow Mode. Underneath the modes, you'll notice that you can control the visibility of two different layers, Avalanche Forecast and Slope Angle. Let's go ahead and turn both of those on. The Avalanche Forecast layer lets you see information from every avalanche center in the country. This is updated every 15 minutes, which means you've always got the most up-to-date forecast displayed. The forecasts expire 24 hours after they're written. So even if you take this offline on a hut trip or something like that, they'll expire at the appropriate time. The slope angle layer basically gives you a color-coded shading depending upon how steep the terrain is. The slope angle is calculated from three and 10 meter digital elevation models. The color coding was specifically designed to help backcountry tours analyze trends in the terrain and help make informed decisions about avalanche hazard. When you turn this layer on, you'll notice that there's a color-coded legend at the top of the screen. Now this layer can be a bit invasive. On the web, you can actually adjust the transparency down. And on mobile, I like to toggle it on and off as I'm analyzing the terrain. As you scroll further down in the map mode card, you can select the specific winter activities that you wanna see guidebook adventures for. So in this case, I'm only interested in ski touring, so I'll select that and leave cross-country skiing and snowshoeing off. Now, just like in trail mode, you can change your base map in snow mode too. So when you click this button, you can select between a satellite, a hybrid, or a topo view, depending upon what you wanna see. If you're on a desktop, you can view each base map in 2D or 3D. And if you're on your phone, you can view the satellite base map in 3D. In each mode, you'll notice it's super easy to tell what type of public land you'll be exploring by the color outline. If you click on it, you can quickly learn whether you're on national forest, BLM, state land, in a national park, you get the idea. You'll also be able to quickly see various recreation points, like trailheads, campgrounds, or even breweries. After you've scrolled around and explored your local area, you can hit the crosshair button in the lower right-hand corner of the screen to center the map on your location and see exactly where you are. If you hit it again, the map will reorient based on the direction you're facing, which is an incredibly useful tool when you're out on a tour and want to make sure you're going the right way. If you move up to the top right-hand corner of the screen, you'll find the weather bug. When you click on that, you'll get a ton of weather information, like temperature, wind speed, sunset and sunrise times, plus a weekly and hourly forecast, and even moon phase information. Now just above that tab, you can select either temperature or wind, which will let you see what either of those things are doing at various locations across the map. Above the weather bug is a search function where you can look up particular trails, breweries, backcountry skiing areas, whatever you want. There's also a tab for a legend, which will help you figure out what everything means. Once you've picked your base map, open Discover from the menu in the bottom left. This will show you a list of all of the Onyx guidebook tours and ski lines in your area. If you don't see anything, pan over to your favorite ski zone and look there. You can tap one of these lines to see tons more information about it, including photos and descriptions. As you can see, when you click on a route in the Discover tab, you'll get tons of information about it, like length and difficulty, when the best time to ski the route is, even detailed descriptions of how to get there and the history of the route. You can click to see nearby trails and get a quick glimpse of upcoming and current weather conditions. Now let's take a look at the Waypoint tool, which you can find in the Tools section on the bottom of the screen. To create a Waypoint, just click Add Waypoint, and that'll put it right there on your screen. When you do that, you'll notice there's an option for wind direction on the Waypoint tool section. Clicking that allows you to easily see what the wind is doing at your favorite waypoints. And that's super helpful if you're trying to plan a tour and wanna to know what the wind is doing and what the current conditions are. Another cool feature within the Waypoint Tools tab is the Navigate To button right down here at the bottom. You'll see Go to Waypoint next to it, and that helps you get to a waypoint when you're out in the field. But if you click Navigate To, your phone's default navigation app like Google or Apple Maps will open, and you'll have driving directions to get to the area or the closest trailhead. If you click the menu icon in the top left-hand corner of the screen, you'll get even more options, including settings. Clicking on settings will allow you to adjust things like whether you want your measurements displayed in metric or imperial units. You can also enable 2D tilt on the map and things like that. You can also easily create and download your own routes, which we'll get to in another video. 
We've got more features coming soon, like slope aspect, snow tail data, OSM ski trail data, and more, and we'll have an updated video here in a few weeks. All right, so there's an overview of the main features of the app in snow mode. In our upcoming videos, we're gonna talk about how to plan a tour based on the day's current conditions, how to plan a tour around an objective that you wanna ski, and we'll also cover how to use the app in the field. Thanks for watching.